Today we are looking at my new 2023 Subaru Outback. I'm gonna go over some of the key details on the Onyx trim level that we see here, as well as what are some of my favorite features on the car for the Onyx edition. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Alex. I like to share weekly videos just like this, all on Subaru related topics. So if you like those type of videos, then click on the subscribe button down below. And if you guys learn anything new today and get value out of this video, I'd really appreciate it if you click the like button. So as you guys can see, I chose the crystal white pearl on a beautiful sunny day like today. You can really see the metallic flake I really like this color. It's not just your regular white. And I like the high contrast between the black cladding and the white. And specifically unique to the Onyx Edition, you have the black appearance package. So these 18 inch alloy wheels are the black metallic finish. You have a metallic black mirror on the Onyx, on all of the Onyx trim levels. And although it may not seem like much, the black window trim, which is new for 2023 on the Onyx, is now standard. So this black window trim was not on the previous generation, the 2020 through 2022 Outback Onyx edition. They finally added it. This is something that I think they should have added from the beginning because if you're going to do a sporty black appearance package, I think that you need to have the black appearance package throughout and no chrome. So that is something I'm really glad they added for 2023. And then of course, the Onyx does get the black badges on the rear hatch. So that is something that is unique to the Onyx trim level. If you look at the back of my Onyx edition, you will notice that below the Outback badge, it doesn't say XT. XT stands for turbo. That is the 2.4 liter turbo engine that Subaru offers, now optional in the 2023 Onyx. Whereas if you look at a 2020 through 2022 Outback Onyx, it came standard with the turbo engine. The reason I opted out of this is because I don't necessarily need the additional horsepower and torque. This is also a slightly lower cost alternative and the fuel economy is slightly better. If you look up the fuel rating on a 2023 Subaru Outback, the 2.5 liter naturally aspirated four cylinder engine like this one here averages around 29 miles per gallon, while the XT or the turbo alternative will average somewhere around 26 miles per gallon. So on paper, there's not a significant difference in fuel economy. However, in practice, I will tell you that right now I have 2000 miles on my car and I have averaged around 25 miles per gallon. So I don't know how that would be with the turbo engine. I think that I, I drive with a pretty heavy foot as you can tell from the fuel rating, but the turbo engine, I'd probably lay into it a little bit more and would probably get like 21 miles per gallon. I, I would be willing to bet. The standard Outback Onyx also has an optional package, which includes three items, the power moonroof, the TomTom -tom navigation that is built into the touchscreen display. I'll talk about some pros and cons to that in just a second. And the reverse automatic braking, which is an auto braking system that will automatically apply the brakes if you are backing out of a parking space and somebody is back there that you don't see. If you opt for the turbo engine in the Onyx, it comes standard with that optional package. So you by default on the turbo Onyx get the moonroof, the nav, and the reverse automatic braking. Although I don't have reverse automatic braking on my standard Outback Onyx Edition, I do have rear cross traffic alert with blind spot detection. So whenever I am backing out of a parking space, if somebody is driving in the cross traffic or walking behind the vehicle, you will see and hear an audible alert on your reverse camera. And on the side mirrors, I have the blind spot indicators that light up orange when somebody is in my blind spot, either on the left or the right side of the car. On all 2023 Subaru Outback Onyx trim levels, you have the gray StarTex interior. It's a light and dark gray two-tone interior. It looks and feels like leather, but it's not leather. It's a simulated material. It's water repellent. It's very easy to keep clean if you get water or debris on it. And to set it off, you have this sporty appearance with the lime green stitching throughout, both on the seat, the door cards, and on the dash panels. The Onyx XT does get a few added features that are not on the standard Onyx trim level, and that is the second row heated seats. So the first row heated seats are standard on all Outback trim levels except for the base, but the second row is only exclusive to specific trim levels, one of those being 
the Outback Onyx XT. The Onyx XT also adds a 180 degree view monitor camera up front. So it does make it a little bit easier when you are getting in and out of parking spaces, or if you do intend to take it off road, that will make it a little bit easier to see what is up ahead. And then lastly, the XT has the full size spare. If you are looking for an Outback and you want it to come equipped with an OEM full size spare, you can get either the Onyx XT or the Wilderness. Both of those are the only ones that have the full size spare tire. So one of my favorite features that is new for the 2023 Outback only is wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. This allows you to connect to your car's display using your navigation, your Apple Music, your Spotify, you can do hands-free calling, all of those things directly from your phone wirelessly without having to plug into the cable that we previously had to do down below here. So this will still charge your device, but I actually had the wireless charging pad installed all you have to do for the wireless charging pad is slide your phone in just like that it lights up blue when the charging is active and that is how it works the main benefit to having apple carplay is the ability to have navigation without having to pay extra or upgrade your vehicle's package to do so so with the navigation that you see displayed here you can get this on all subaru trim levels now even the base model although if you go with the base trim likely you're going to have a smaller screen specifically for the outback it is two small screens and you'll still have the same functionality but it won't be the largest larger screen I mentioned earlier in this video how having the navigation built in through TomTom Tom on your touchscreen display has pros and cons. The con is that you have to upgrade to a higher trim package to get it. The benefit or the pro to having the TomTom Tom nav, which is usually displayed right here, is that you don't have to have cell phone service to be able to connect to your map. So if you are driving in a remote area, I know that I experienced this last weekend when we were traveling through the mountains in Tennessee, we lost cell phone service and so we therefore lost our navigation. Somewhat of a workaround to that issue is to connect your destination, set your destination on your Apple CarPlay navigation before you leave your home or, or wherever you may be. You have to have either cell service or Wi-Fi to connect that. So once it's connected, then it will stay connected throughout your route. But if you're in the middle of nowhere and you're trying to set a new destination, it's not gonna allow you to connect until you have cell service again. If the new 11.6 inch touchscreen display is foreign to you or, or you feel overwhelmed with it, I'm going to be making a video here soon talking about how to navigate this screen and adjust any settings that you may wanna adjust as a new Subaru Outback owner. One of my other favorite features on my new Outback is the remote start capabilities directly from my phone. This is using what's called the Maya Subaru app and it's connected with Subaru Starlink. This is an upgrade that I got for my car. I got the five year package because it was $250 total. If you break that out annually, it's $50 a year. So an incredibly low cost to have a ton of benefits. So not only can I remotely start my car directly from my phone, but I can also set up my climate control before I get in the car. So I can heat the car up or cool it down before I get in, depending on what time of year it is. And for my Outback, I can also turn on the heated seats before I hop in the car. This makes it incredibly convenient, super easy to use, and just a nice added benefit that not every car has. So the remote start happens just like that, just in a few seconds. You'll hear the car start up and it automatically locks all the doors so nobody can just hop in your car and take off. I made a video on this in the past. You can click on the YouTube card above to check that out, but there are some changes to that. So I plan to make an update to that very soon. So one of the last favorite features that I wanna mention in today's video is the hands-free power lift gate. And Cleo has been incredibly patient today. She got to run around the park for quite some time. She's ready to get back in the car, but my hands are full. Obviously I could let her hop in, but I just wanna show you how this power free, this hands-free power tailgate works. As long as I have the key nearby in my pocket, I can hover my hand in front of the Subaru Star Cluster logo and the tailgate will open up. That is only on the Subaru Outback. You can't get that on any other model. We've got her, her Chubaru WRX. This is a new toy for this year. We're gonna throw that in there for, and we're gonna let her get in the uh, in her crate, which by the way, her crate, as you can see, fits perfectly in here. There you go, Cleo. All right. 
And that is how easy it is to open the hands-free power lift gate. You can also operate it with your key fob, open and close it, but that star cluster feature on the back is really cool and unique. So I wanted to show you guys how that worked. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. If you did, please remember to click the like button. That really helps me out and I would greatly appreciate it. If you guys like videos like this, I plan to make many more on the Onyx as well as other Subaru related topics. So click on the subscribe button down below. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next one.